my gosh, it is so hot today. Okay, hi guys, I know it's been a while since I have filmed. I really have not had any time. I picked up more responsibility at work and I mean life. I know it's like excuses, but I really miss you guys. And I have so many cool videos planned for the near future. And you know, since I've been MIA, there has definitely been some purchases that have happened. A lot more actually than what I'm showing you today. First off, I didn't want to be here for an hour sharing everything. Second, I wanted to share you guys some of my favorite recent purchases. And I also have a Gucci shoe reveal at the end. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. Oh, let's address the elephant in the room. Hi. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you're like, where is your hair? <laughs> I cut my hair about two months ago or like a month and a half, a month and three weeks ago. And I really have been wanting to do this for a really long time. It's edgy, it's fun, it's just sort of cool, cool girl. I feel like it matches my style more. I will say it's so much harder to actually style, like the little bits in the back here trying to straighten your hair, like bringing it forward. It's just, it's not fun. It's it's not fun. I re had I had to like retrain myself how to like do my hair, but it's fun doing it wavy, doing it curly. Today I straightened it. Today's first day hair. You guys know how I feel about first day hair. I hate it. I feel like it's just like baby hair nation. So I'm just gonna stay like this most of the time so you guys don't see my baby hairs anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the two items that i have i think it's just two from forever 21 i mean it's still so hot out i am like in fall mode you guys i am ready for the cold let it just be cold please this first piece is like a cropped flannel i actually wore this the other day and it's so lightweight we went to the movie so i was like this is perfect because it's like perfect for like a little bit of a chill in the movies and I do wear sweaters still during the summer at work because we blast the AC so it's not like I'm completely not using any of my fall stuff it's just I want to dress more fall like it's very frustrating it's annoying it's like that weird in-between stage right now I'm like in a style rut that's what it is a style rut so this first piece is a cropped flannel I'm obsessed with this the colors are so 90s like I don't know, this gives me 90s vibes 100%, and it's the softest fabric. I really, really hope this stuff is still available. This is kind of why I wanted to do this video sooner than later, because most of this stuff I did just pick up more recent than, you know, a month ago, and I really hope this is available. I got this in a size small. It's like very boxy cropped, so that's why I could fit in the small. Otherwise, you know, you could wear it buttoned up, but I had it just over a black bodysuit, and my I was wearing black distressed Joe jeans, and what shoes was I wearing? probably vans i'm assuming i'll put a picture of me on instagram here wearing it but it's just so cute and soft and i love it up next is from forever two this is biggie smalls vibes except it's not the real thing so this is the sweater it's like a cropped wannabe coogee sweater but i mean i kind of really really want a vintage Coogee sweater but they're so expensive well at least the ones that I've looked at were really expensive maybe I can go on the hunt for one and I don't know how many times I'm gonna wear a Coogee sweater like it's such an obvious sweater so when I saw that forever drop this I was like I have to I just have to so let's just call it the Fuji Fuji like Fuji not Fuji the water but like Fuji f-o-o-g-i let's just call it the Fuji like faux Coogee sweater I don't know how cute is this I haven't worn it yet because it's so freaking hot but I'm obsessed with just some black high-waisted jeans and whatever, so in love. Actually with a pair of sneakers that I'm gonna show you guys in a second, that'd be so cute, so cute. So I've been going like leopard crazy. I actually have a pair of leopard shoes coming from DSW that I ordered a couple nights ago that I will share with you guys once I get them. I actually have a leopard handbag I'm gonna show you in a second. This is a leopard jacket from nasty gal now i'm an animal print person i'm middle eastern okay so animal print just speaks to my my blood my heritage <laughs> i don't know what that means but i feel like i'm stereotyping right now but i love cheetah i love leopard print and the fact that it's like so on trend right now i've talked about this before when something is already like kind of a staple in my wardrobe and then all of a sudden it's on trend and i'm seeing it everywhere it's like heaven i'm like give me it give me it give me it give me it like when Banties were a trend, you know, just like all the dupes of them remaking the Banties and having all these like printed t-shirts and logo tees. I was going nuts. I was buying them every single day pretty much. This is a very, very lightweight cropped 
Is this cheetah or leopard? What's the difference? If someone knows the difference as far as like what the pattern looks like, I should know, but I don't. Let me know. This is from Nasty Gal. I don't know if they still have it available. I will try to link something similar below, but this is the most lightweight denim, like faux denim jacket ever. So this is again, something I could still wear summer evenings and I love it. I love it so much. To me, cheetah and leopard is kind of a, like a neutral, if that makes sense. Almost like polka dots and stripes. Like I feel like I can wear this one with anything. And even if I wanted to wear a black and white striped tee under or something like that, I think that would look really, really cute. But I can't wait to wear this. And it's loose enough, it's boxy enough to wear like a long sleeve underneath when it is chillier. Okay, moving on to very boring basics, but they excite me like no other because they're what I use all the time. Like. Nine out of 10 when I'm getting dressed, I'm using one of these basics, okay? I'm actually wearing one now. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this t-shirt. I'm gonna try to stand up in a second. It is basically an oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters, but they're called the Big Brother Tee, Older Brother Tee. That doesn't sound right to me. Like, can you just call it like boyfriend tee? Like, I'm not gonna be wearing my brother's t-shirt. That's a, little, it's a little weird. No offense if you wear your brother's t-shirts, but I don't know, that's just kind of weird. Uh, so it's called the Brother Tee or Big Brother Tee and I get them in an extra large. I actually have it in black and I have it in white and I have it in gray and I ordered two more colors, of course. They're 20 bucks and they're the softest fabric ever. So these two I have in extra large and this is the first one that I actually bought, it's a large. And I love the way the large fit but I wanted it to be as big as possible for the reason of it being like used in multiple different ways. So right now I'm wearing high-waisted mom jeans and I have it knotted in the front. And then these are actually long enough to wear to cover your butt with leggings. So I love wearing this stuff like layering stuff with leggings like in the fall time. What when it's cold, I'm gonna be wearing these like over leggings and you know sweatshirts and hoodies like over with the shirts popping out at the bottom. I don't know, I think that's really cool looking. Um, so I'm gonna try to get up and show you guys, hold on. So here you guys could see, I love how this looks. Like it might look a little funny, but I feel like it looks very mod when it's in the front like this. And you could do it to the side or whatever, but there's just something about this fabric, like the way it lays and the way it feels that I'm so in love with. Like I'm a, kind of a t-shirt snob as far as fabric goes. So if something lays and feels amazing and super soft, I want it in every single color. So the fact that I could wear this long, the fact that I can knot it without it being too bulgy because the fabric is really soft um, is amazing. So I have them in those two colors. So I actually have a another t-shirt from Urban that's not plain. And I'm just sad because it shrunk in the washer and dryer and I should have known should have known I should have not put it in the dryer or I don't know what I should have done there was makeup on it because it's white but I'm obsessed with the print because it just looks so like genuinely like a vintage tee I'm obsessed I hate Budweiser but I love this t-shirt this fabric is thin enough to knot it so I've knotted it and I've also worn it long with leggings but now I think it's a little too short with leggings I don't know we'll see I actually haven't tried it on yet since I washed it but I love 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 this t-shirt it's so fun and cool next is another really boring basic but if you're gonna get anything from this basics sort of section you have to get these these are the world's best leggings the world's best leggings i don't care what anyone says they're a little a little pricey i don't care i wear them three times a week twice a week i'm gonna buy another pair because i honestly i'm washing them too much and it's making me scared nothing will happen to them because they're lulus so there's a lot of lint on this. A lot of lint is probably gonna show up from the ring light and because I have puppies, even though these are washed. Okay, so I have several pairs of Lululemon leggings and for the most part, they're just like the mid-rise, a little bit lower than mid-rise because this was a few years ago that I picked them up. These are the super high-rise. Like they come almost <laughs> up to under my boobs and I love the way they fit so so much so like when it is actually cold I am gonna be wearing like this t-shirt knotted up with these but I'm gonna wear like a long baggy cardigan long baggy flannels long baggy jacket to sort of like cover my butt help balance the high-waisted short shirt and like you know with a long jacket I think it'll look really really cute anybody that has balls to wear just leggings and a cropped shirt with their stomach showing I really commend you because I will not do that. But these are really amazing and they're super comfortable. This is actually, it feels like a different fabric that they usually use, or at least maybe, or maybe the fabric that they use now is like this, but I haven't bought a pair in quite some time. 
and this fabric feels like a second skin it feels like you're wearing nothing but they're still really thick so you know they're not see-through but they're not too heavy i don't know how to explain it if you're a lululemon legging fan then you know what i'm talking about these are just magical and i feel great in them and you can eat a lot in them so moving on to a couple of rebecca minkoff bags that i've picked up recently the first one i'm going to show you i actually bought brand new from the melrose location i saw them post this you know collection on their instagram story and i fell in love and it's the edie line so edie e-d-i-e maybe eddie I'm calling it Edie because Eddie would be two D's, right? I don't know. And I just fell in love, and I fell in love with the color. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. I've been wanting a gray bag for so long, and I love Rebecca Minkoff bags. Like, you guys know I'm a designer handbag freak, and I love designer handbags, but I also really love contemporary designers, too. I think there, there are so many amazing contemporary designers out there, and you can get a really good quality leather bag. I mean, this wasn't cheap, cheap. It was like $2.98 retail. I highly suggest waiting for Rebecca Minkoff bags to go on sale, though. They always do, and she always has promotions and blah, 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 blah. but they just released this like a couple weeks ago, and I immediately um, wanted to check it out, so we saw it in person. Me, even my boyfriend was like, that color is so cool. I love it because it has a slip pocket in the back, and this is faux so you could just pop it open and you have the compartments it's smushy it's amazing and i really like it i mean i've worn it like four times already and it looks great it functions great this i will say is too long like even as a crossbody i'm five seven it's just too long it's like past my hip and that makes me sad but I actually feel like this size bag is more comfortable right under your arm anyway if you need to wear a crossbody obviously or if I need to then I'll do it but I just you know it's more comfortable under the shoulder so there's kind of a story behind this I've been wanting a gray handbag for so so long I've been waiting for Gucci to come out in their Marmont collection in gray like why is it not in gray so stay tuned for that because I do have a handbag reveal coming up very soon I just love it it's so amazing and the function of this bag is really really cool love it i also believe that they're going to come out with that bag in the mini but i don't know when and if they do i'm probably going to want to get that like in a fun color if they do get it in a fun color so the next bag i ended up getting pre-loved it's a rebecca minkoff bag off of poshmark and like i said i'm going a little leopard crazy I love it. It's the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac. Now, I had this bag back in the day in all black, and I loved it. I just got over it. I ended up selling it, which is so dumb. It's such a classic. This is such a classic staple. Like, this, to me, is timeless. There's nothing trendy about this shape. I don't know why I ended up selling it. But I also remember when she released the leopard bag, and I really wanted it, and I didn't want to double up on having the same bag. And that was back in the day when I wasn't spending so, so much. Like, this was, like, kind of a splurge for me um back then and it's still it like her stuff isn't super cheap pre-loved you can get it like for a really really good price i got this for like 60 bucks but um yeah i didn't want to double up on having the all black one and this and about a month ago i'm like i really want a leopard bag and i had remembered about this bag so i'm like ooh, i'm gonna hunt for the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac in the leopard and i'm so glad i found one in the black hardware so this is my first time having anything with black hardware and I love it love it love it so much it's so edgy and so cool and this is a very like cool bag to accessorize with I feel like this definitely makes a statement and it's just really fun okay so the last two things I'm going to show you are shoes the first pair are some Nikes that are probably one of the most comfortable sneakers I have ever put on in my life and they are the Nike Air Maxes 95s I think I, I I think could be wrong but I got them from finish line oh my gosh my brain today is not working um, I think I got them from finish line either way I'm going to link these or a similar pair below and they are the most comfortable thing oh it says engineered for all day everyday comfort so I love them so much the colors the colors high neutral perfect palette it's like a creamy, taupey color. No, what is that? That's like a creamer color, like the color of your coffee when you put too much creamer. And then this is like a taupey color. And then this is gray. This is white. And then it has a gum bottom. I love the gum bottom. Love gum bottoms. They are so cool. So anyways, I love this. This is my chunky sneaker, okay? These are my Balenciaga chunky sneakers. That's my 
chunky sneaker trend. Last but not least is a pair of shoes that got delivered to me yesterday and I'm so excited. They're from Gucci. This is not an unboxing. I already wore them yesterday and today. They are called the New Canvas GG Malaga Kid. Gardenia Red. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw these. So it's not too much of a reveal, but it kind of is if you don't follow me on Instagram. They are these babies and I still have them stuffed. So last night and today, I'm just stuffing them after I wear them just to maybe take out the creases. They're too new to like keep creases in. Um, hi, look how gorgeous these are. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So this is kind of new for Gucci, this um, canvas print. I believe this is the only color this comes in. I cannot tell you how many times I was like wishing. I put it out in the universe. I'm like, can they just come out with a loafer with just the plain canvas? No flowers on it, no prints and designs like on top of the canvas. Like I just want the plain canvas. Maybe I'm wrong and they've had them and I just haven't seen them. But the first time I saw them actually just do the Gucci monogram or logo, let me hold them while I'm talking, um, was in the velvet. And I love the velvet one so much. The teal with the pink, I mean, stunning. But I live in Los Angeles, California, and mm, and 75% of the year it feels like summer. So wearing velvet, it just didn't seem practical for an all year thing. And you guys probably know how long I've been wanting a pair of Gucci loafers. I have the sneakers, I have the slides, but it took me a long time to pull the trigger on the loafers because I wasn't sure which ones I wanted. And I thought I wanted the Prince Towns, but I have so many amazing dupes of the Prince Towns. And I just feel like a full loafer is a, like a smidge bit more classic, even though I'm gonna be wearing backless loafers when they're out of trend, I don't care. Like, I think they're great, they're easy. You just slip them on. But when you're spending Gucci money, Maybe you wanna be a little bit more classic. That's just how my brain worked. Then I was going back and forth between getting these and just the all leather Brixtons. And I didn't go for the Brixtons because I felt like there are so many amazing leather dupes out there that are just simple, plain ones. Like, I think it's the brand is called Dune. Dune, I could be wrong. Um, they have amazing leather loafers that look pretty much identical to the Brixtons, but they're slightly different. Like if you know Gucci, you know they're different. Those I think would be like a good, and they're not cheap, like they're not super cheap. Uh, those would be a good dupe for an all leather one. So I kind of just went for like, went with my gut and my heart and went for something that is more Gucci, like very obvious Gucci. And it's still a neutral to me. A red is my favorite color to accentuate with. And also too, it's my favorite pop of color that I feel like complements my entire color palette when it comes to my wardrobe. It's just really, really easy to style with these. And also monogram print to me, I've said this before, is like a solid. It's like a solid. So Louis Vuitton monogram print, like my Palm Springs backpack, I wear that with stripes, plaids, everything. Like I wear it with patterns. This, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wear this with graphic tees, patterns, any everything, everything and everything. I feel like that's when they look the most fun. Today I wore them, I'm just wearing, you know, this black t-shirt and blue jeans in this and it looked really, really cute. I got actually a lot of compliments. I was in Beverly Hills today. I had a meeting with Fashion File because I did sell some stuff. So I do need to do an updated what I sold and why. Yeah, I just love them. I think that they're super timeless, but at the same time, like very cool. Like they're very cool. Anyways, I got my size. These are a 38. I'm usually an eight. Sometime, I'm, sometimes I'm on the smaller end of eight, maybe like a little bit more than a seven and a half and a little bit less than an eight. If you are in between sizes, I would suggest going up. But I did hear that certain people that have like the Brixtons and the Jordans in multiple different colors, there's, they have some that are like a half size up, a half size down. Like they're, they're not all consistent. In, in the sizing. And I'm not too sure if these are Jordans or not. On the Bloomingdale's, what was it? The Bloomingdale's website that called it Jordans. There was a website that called these Jordans, but I don't know if they're the Jordans. They're definitely not the Brixons because they you can't mush them down, but they are very, very, very soft. And they're lined with black leather that ends up just shaping to your foot pretty much immediately. Like after 30 minutes, my foot felt really comfortable in it. I will say towards the end of the day yesterday, right here where it creases just on the left foot just like right here you know like where where it bends well i can't bend it now but like where it bends 
I don't know if it's the pressure of the piping in the leather that like was stabbing the top of my big toe just on the top it started getting irritated so I just put on a band-aid this morning on top of that area and it was like padding and it didn't I didn't feel a thing so I don't know if it's just something that needs to stretch out or not but I'm obsessed I'm so 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 in love with these if you're on the fence about getting a pair of Gucci loafers especially like if they're more on the fun side go for the fun ones go for the fun ones because when it comes to the handbags maybe you want to be more practical which will make sense in my next video I'll talk about that um, when the time comes but I suggest just go for the fun ones when it comes to the shoes or things that might be not as like painful to the wallet okay so that is it you guys i am so happy to be back i missed you guys so much and i will be back very very soon i do have a handbag reveal coming soon and i just don't want to feel so disconnected from my youtube fam anymore okay bye guys Mwah.